Hello dear few followers, so for conclusion of my test, uh, if you want to use the Google RC uh, combo uh, with the um, ESC um, with the sensorless Moto S3650 uh, you need to cold it with this kind of items um, you can add also a layer of uh, thermal paste, yes. And if you can, you can get one with two fans. It will be better to use it. Um, we have also seen that we need to check it with a motor analyzer, but also that you need to check manually how are the coil if they need to be uh, pushed away from the rotor um, re-lube with a uh, synthetic oil the bearing maybe use a kind of hydrofuge um, liquid to isolate the coil from the rotor at the maximum Okay, and also how to um, set the shim. We saw that with uh, um, displacing one shim, the, the one of the two slims, uh, from the end to the top, we want about uh, 1,000 uh, rounds per minute. Yes. So, um, this motor is um, mainly made to be used on a modern chassis okay with uh, aluminium and uh, space uh, to put uh, your heater with a fan easily okay but if you want to use it uh, like me in uh, all uh, venerable Tamiya chassis up. You know the TO3 that is made of plastic, the front edition. Um, it won't be cooled down enough, even if there is a hole here. No, you have to put specific parts. You know those uh, custom ones that you can find easily on eBay. Yes. Um, first is the uh, uh, gearbox heater with the aluminium part inside to transfer the maximum of heat but also this the big the big aluminium bottom from the front and um, if you can add um, a thin copper of uh, copper or aluminium with thermal paste to transfer the maximum of heat from the motor uh, to the aluminium parts and uh, I think you will enjoy it. So um, to uh, people from the Guler C team and society uh, would you be kind to send me uh, some uh, another samples of your production and also uh, one of the little screws that uh, maintains the uh, end bell, please. Bye bye, see you later for more video and also uh, thanks to uh, Sky RC people for making this great uh, motor analyzer that you can also find it on uh, AliExpress. Bye!